Hi, I'm Paul Beckwith. Um, a few days ago, I posted uh, this on my website, paulbeckwith.net. Hurricane Ophelia makes a beeline to Ireland. It was based on a YouTube video. Um, the link's down here with the same name. And this is an update, um, sort of just, the, it's a calm before the storm. This is gonna be a very serious storm, so I'm giving, um, I, I've, uh, this is a second part um, I filmed the video, which I'll be posting, and this video is, is in two parts. So I'll end up having three videos in total on, on this storm up to now. So uh, I was talking, uh, I showed a map of the UK, and we've got this storm coming up here. And when you add the forward, when you add the rotation speed, uh, whether it be, you know, the present 85 miles per hour or 75 or 70, you need to add it to the forward speed, about 44 miles an hour right now and that wind speed those the addition of those two is the winds that are going to be experienced over here in the, which is if the right front quadrant comes up through here the storm surge is going to be pushed up here and there's going to be a current generated almost in this channel here water coming up here it's got to go somewhere it'll come out there so I, the storm surge numbers here could be very very significant okay um if you google earth null school um, then this is what you see here with the storm. Um, the default, uh, you just click on this to bring up the menu or get rid of the menu. And let's see what happens if I can track through. Uh, let's see here. I was having a problem. It's still having a problem with the computer. That's okay. Lots of people are on here looking at it. So that's what's going on, I think. So this is where the storm is, it is right here. This is the eye of the storm. And now I'm looking at the ocean conditions. Okay, so the storm is heading up here, significant waves here up to 10 meters. It's so four meters right here, wave height. So the low pressure of the storm sucks up water all around, bringing the storm surge in. So as this moves up here, this storm surge will go right up through the channel here between Ireland and Great Britain and Scotland. So the storm surge all along the coastline on both sides is going to be very significant, and and uh, people need to be very wary of that. This is going to be a this is going to be an unmitigated disaster. Um, you, okay, so um, if we look at the sea surface temperature, we're about sixteen degrees Celsius in here. Okay, you need 26 and a half degrees in order for hurricanes, tropical storms to gain strength. The water's under that, you know, as it's come north. When, the, when Ophelia was getting amplified, it was still going through very warm water. And because of climate change, the oceans are warming significantly and the warm water is fed, heading farther north. So, so this is only, this is sort of a glimpse of the future that we're going to have. You know, as the planet continues to warm, we're going to get more and more of these extreme weather events um, and things that have not happened before and things that are much more severe and last for much longer and happen in places where they never used to happen um, as climate, as abrupt climate change continues. Um, if we look at the sea surface temperature anomaly, this is the anomaly relative to a long-term average. Um, this is, so we're about half a degree warmer than normal. This whole region up here is about half a degree warmer than the long-term average. This is about a degree. This is a couple degrees. Okay, this is about a degree, you know, over a degree, degree and a half. And so going all the way up here, we're, we're warmer than normal temperatures. Okay, so how do we assess what sort of damages might happen? Um, I'll remind you, from my previous video here that there's three images that I have here. Okay, right now the forward speed is 85 miles an hour. Is, sorry, the rotation, um, I need one more to go back. The rotation speed is 85 miles an hour. The forward speed of the whole thing is 44 miles an hour. So in this quadrant here, you need to take the 85 Okay, it's rotating this way. You need to take the 85 plus the 44 
So it's 129 miles per hour is the ground speed. That's the speed relative to the ground on this quadrant, the right front quadrant. The left front quadrant, you take the forward, you take the rotation speeds this way, forward speeds this way. So it's 41 miles per hour um, is the, uh, the, the rotations, the wind speed there. And, and the arrow is, is obviously in the wrong direction. The arrow should be going down. The winds here will be the 85 going down minus the 44 going up is 41 miles an hour going down. Okay, but you know, this is out in the ocean, so we're not worried too much about that. Okay, so here's what's key is 129 miles per hour or 208 kilometers per hour. Now, if this storm uh, continues to weaken before, which it, we're expected over cold water, but it's moving so fast, how much is a big question. Um, you know, if we go down to uh, just below category one wind speeds, they call it 70 mile an hour. If it's still going 44 up this way, you get 114 mile per hour would be this way, and that still puts it into a very, very damaging regime. 114 miles per hour would still be equivalent to category three devastating damages. Okay, so, so this, is a, this is a wicked storm. Now, what precedence do we have? Okay, so this is vital reading for people in Ireland and in England and in Scotland and in Wales, all of the UK, it's vital reading, okay? Because this happened, Hurricane Debbie hit in 1961. It's the most powerful cyclone on record to strike Ireland in September, possibly the only tropical cyclone to ever strike Britain and Ireland while still tropical, okay? Um, and uh, I won't, there, we won't worry too much about the details. It reached a category three hurricane. It reached 120 miles per hour. Uh, what we've seen with Ophelia is we reached a maximum speed of 115 um, miles per hour. So not quite as high as this, but very similar. Maintaining its peak intensity for over a day. Okay, Ophelia was a similar thing. All day on Saturday, it was basically category three. Um, and uh, the westerlies accelerated it. This is the same thing that's happening. Okay, it's accelerating, its forward speed is increasing, and uh, they lost track of it for a while. It hit Ireland as a powerful storm, brought record winds to much of the island, with a peak gust of 114 miles per hour measured just offshore. Now you have to remember that you need to take that right quadrant speed. So, you know, if Ophelia has slowed down to a forward speed of 70 miles an hour, you need to add the 44, that's 115, that's 114 miles per hour, exactly the same as this. Okay, um, down, it's going to down tens of thousands, it's going to take out trees, it's going to take out power lines, countless structures are going to get damaged. Okay, the coastlines are going to experience significant storm surge and um, you know, this particular storm killed 18 people. Look at all the development along the coastline that has happened since 1961. Um, look at all the development of new buildings and new houses and look at people's memory, okay? Most people are young, you know, unless you're born in, you know, unless you're, um, born in, in uh, you know, you, unless you're born in the 50s or something or before, you won't remember this storm. You don't know about the damage and the stuff, okay? So this is a particular storm here and how it, what it did. Now there's lots of detail here. So have a look at this stuff on what the damages were on this hurricane. These are details about what it did as it, before it struck and this is the impact here. So this is a key thing to, to look at. Okay, so these are different locations and these are different wind measurements. Okay, so we're looking, take this as a sort of, this thing happening again with these type of winds in your particular location in Ireland, you know, what is it gonna do? What is it gonna damage? Um, there'll be lots of rainfall. There'll be a lot, you know, intense rainfall. There'll be storm surge on the coastlines. There'll be very, very high winds. There'll be power lines down and disrupted. Um, so the, the, the country has to be, you know, has to be prepared 
at, you know, as much as possible for, for what is happening. Um, okay, what else can we say about this? You know, the greatest damage, again, it depends where the eye crosses the island of Ireland. It depends where the right eye wall is because the wind speed is highest in the right eye wall of the storm. So from the radars of Ireland, you can go on and you can track where that eye wall is coming and you basically can get an idea of what the wind speeds will be, you know, how, what area, what sort of area over the ground will be affected by the, the right front quadrant eye wall because that's where the winds are going to be the most severe. That's where the damage will be the most severe. Remember, the damage is not proportional to wind speed. The damage is, you need to take the wind speed and, multi and take it to almost the third power, okay? So example, if the winds were doubled, the damage would not be doubled. The damage would go up two to the third power, which is two times two is four times two is eight. The damage would be eight times worse, but there's a threshold with buildings. Winds below a certain level, there's no damage at all on the buildings. Cross, you know, add an extra five or 10 mile an hour or kilometer an hour and you can get tremendous damage from buildings there's a very strong threshold damage point for for buildings um and the damages are, and so on so this this is this is crucial you know newspapers reported that this city resembled the bombed out area okay um and so on not only that but it's debris that is picked up so any loose debris that you have should be, you know, any, any lawn furniture, any, uh, anything that's stored outside, lumber or whatever, all those things can be picked up by high winds and be projectiles and cause very widespread damage. So those things should be, uh, you know, precautions should be taken to try to minimize that. This talks about the storm surges and the rough seas, because not only do we have very large storm surge, but we have waves on top of that. Um, there were lots of vessels that were sunk, etc., in this previous storm. Um, now the UK, I've already mentioned that the, U the UK is going to get high winds as well. Okay, uh, you know, parts of Northern Ireland, yes, uh, Ireland, yes, and, but, you know, also in, in, uh, over in, uh, on the Great Britain side, um, there's going to be the storm surge, there's going to be high winds, also up in Scotland. Again, it really depends. This is a big storm. It's moving very, very fast. It's probably going to accelerate even more so before it hits. So it's going to, it's going to be a very rapid storm. So, it, it, it's, uh, so I can't emphasize, uh, you know, one of the things that I see is I see people focusing on the category number. Okay, it's a category, it reached category three and then it became category two, and it's probably going to be, you know, might even be under category one. It might be just a, a, a strong tropical storm, but when you add that forward motion and it, in, the front, in the front right quadrant, the winds are going to be very, very strong, and they're probably going to be above the threshold, and they're going to cause significant damage. Um, and, you know, I don't see that being emphasized enough um, in the mainstream media. I don't see the, the uh, you know, the meteorological uh, people in, you know, the, the Met Office in the UK, the Ireland Met Office and thing. I don't see them emphasizing enough that, you know, they're going to, that, that this storm is not positioned well. The Ireland is going to be in the right front quadrant. It's going to suffer accordingly. Um, so, you know, look at Hurricane Debbie 1961, look at, look at what the damage effects there and, you know, assume it's going to be something uh, similar. Um, th these videos, so this is part B to my video tonight, part A, um, A and B will be, I'll upload them right now. Um, you, so, well, obviously if you're seeing them, they've been uploaded. Um, so there, I'll have a total of three videos on this storm Ophelia and again, um, you know, please consider uh, supporting my work to get this important information out, out to people. Um, thank you for your attention.